Hey guys, what's going on? Professor here, and today I'm coming at you with the third episode of Minifigure Monday. Today we're going to be going over one of my more recent LEGO Star Wars minifigure collections. This is my uh, 2019 collection, so just last year. This does not include my entire collection. I have a couple sets that I haven't opened up that I got for Christmas last year that are from 2019. Uh, so the Boba Fett 20th Anniversary Slave 1, as well as the ATST Raider. I have not opened up either one of those. So those many figures would be included in this, but obviously, like I said, haven't opened them, so they can't quite be included just yet. But guys, if you are excited for this video, don't forget to go down there, hit that like button, and if you want to support the channel, please consider hitting subscribe. Without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. As always, I'll start up here in the front where I have the Darth Vader's Castle minifigures. Super great set, would recommend anyone to get it. You have your Darth Vader right here. You also get two Royal or Royal Red Imperial Guards, some of my favorite minifigures in this collection. You also get this super cool uh, clone pilot with some awesome blue markings and a really unique helmet design. And then you also get a Darth Vader back to tank minifigure. I think it's really cool that they included both a regular Darth Vader as well as the kind of back to tank. You also do get a mouse droid included in this set, the Darth Vader's castle that is. So I wasn't able to put it on there, but this little mouse droid is also included in this set and is considered to be a minifigure. Moving on to that second row, we have the 20th anniversary snow speeder minifigures, excuse me. And this one right here is Dak Ralter, who has the exact same body as uh, Luke Skywalker's over here, but much simpler helmet design, only the two blue rebel logo insignias. Whereas Luke Skywalker's helmet has a ton of design on it, I'll actually take it off and kind of move it up closer so you can see there's some great detailing on here. Really love Luke Skywalker's helmet design. Uh, he comes with a lightsaber as well as it's kind of difficult to see, but a small little gun in there. You get a Hoth Rebel soldier right here. That's also included in that set. And then you also do get the 20th anniversary Lando Calrissian included in that one. I'll show those guys off at the end, all the 20th anniversary minifigures that I have. Next up is the Death Star Cannon. Pretty cheap $20 set released in October. You get your uh, Imperial Gunner, I believe that's who that is. And then you also get an Obi-Wan minifigure with uh, the new hood piece, which I absolutely love. Really, really like that they included that in there. Next row here is the 20th Anniversary Imperial Dropship. This one you get three regular Stormtroopers, all the same, and a Shadow Trooper who has the same uh, helmet style, home, helmet molding, excuse me. It's just differently colored. His body and uh, legs are also the same, just the markings are in a different color so that they stand out more in that black. Uh, they are all, or excuse me, again, once, whew, they all come with stud shooters in their hands. Sith Infiltrator Microfighter, Darth Maul is the one that's kind of just chilling over here on his own. Moving on to the last row, starting here on the left, we have the 20th Anniversary Pod Racer with Padme and Anakin here, who you can't really see that well. So I'll kind of pick him up, show him off right there. That's the Anakin from the 20th Anniversary Pod Racer. And then you have the 20th Anniversary Clone Skywalker, which unfortunately just includes this regular battle droid, not a Kashyyyk battle droid, like the January 2019 sets. You get a Kashyyyk Clone Trooper, and then you also get a Wookiee as well. Also included in that set is this Dwarf Spider Droid. Once again, considered a minifigure, but obviously I couldn't fit him on this little uh, base plate right here. So the Dwarf Spider Droid is included in there. The 20th Anniversary Clone Scout Walker. Uh, really nice minifigure right there. I think he's pretty cool. Uh, but this is it for the base collection of my 2019 uh, set, minifigure collection, excuse me. Uh, I will show off the 20th anniversary minifigures here in a second, but just going over my favorite ones. I really love the Luke Skywalker here, mostly just because of all the detail on the chest and legs, as well as the combination with that helmet. And then I'd probably have to say the clone pilot minifigure, as well as the Royal Red Imperial Guards. I absolutely love those minifigures from this collection. They are some of my favorites, as well as the Shadow Trooper. Uh, that was included in the 20th anniversary dropship. There are just so many really great sets from 2019 that have so many great minifigures. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this base collection. So let me show you my 20th anniversary figs. So here are the 20th anniversary exclusive set minifigures. And while there are only four here, I do technically have all six. That being Han Solo, Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, Lando Calrissian, Obi-Wan, and Princess Leia. You see the four right there. 
Princess Leia is still sealed in my 20th Anniversary Slave 1. And then I also still have my uh, Obi-Wan collectible minifigure sealed. You can see the pieces still in the bag there. I haven't decided if I want to open them yet, but I do still have him. He's just not open. So checking out the four that I do have opened right here. Uh, Han Solo here on the left. Darth Vader right there. Luke Skywalker, Lando Calrissian. I absolutely love these minifigures. It brings back a lot of nostalgia, kind of thinking about those early sets and just how much they've evolved. I mean, for example, you take the 20th anniversary Darth Vader right here, and you compare him to something like one of the new Darth, or like the new Darth Vader from Darth Vader's castle. Actually, let me separate him so you can get a better look. Take those off the side. And then you have your Darth Vader 20th anniversary, and then your new Darth Vader. And there's just so much different just from the actual chest printing. This one is leg printing. The helmet mold is completely different. There's just so much that has changed over the years. And I think that this was a great way to kind of check that out uh, and really be able to see what has or how Lego has evolved over time. And uh, I hope they do something like this in the future, potentially for 30th anniversary or like movie anniversaries. Like I know, I believe this year is the 40th anniversary of uh, Empire Strikes Back. So it'd be super cool if they did some exclusive things like some special minifigures from that movie or something like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for my minifigure collection for 2019. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to go down there, smash that like button. If you want to uh, support the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.